So, we have just finished presenting our menu, complete with robust columns. We have recommended the column most applicable to our guests' needs. Their response is, thanks for reviewing that, but I just don't think I need it. It's decision time, high road or low road. In other words, will the conversation quickly devolve into something resembling a wise guy follow-on description of a 50-50 warranty? Don't need it. Are you willing to take the chance that when your car breaks in half, you own both halves? Of course not. Do we respond with an apology for asking that they considered all of our products? You don't have to buy them all if you don't see the value. Again, probably not the most inspiring approach. Perhaps instead, we could seize upon the opportunity the objection has presented to further educate our guests. Our response, therefore, might go something like, is it the way it's packaged that concerns you? Our guests may reply, what do you mean? We will then continue with, Mary, Mike, you, like me, probably consider this top piece, the full mechanical coverage, the one everyone refers to as bumper to bumper, the one that covers nearly everything but your wearable maintenance items, you probably consider this the most important item in the whole matrix, correct? Mary and Mike respond, sure. We will confidently follow with, I'll explain. We will go on to review visually and verbally the factory coverage of the new vehicle or the balance of such on the pre-owned vehicle. It is at this point that we may either turn the menu over and utilize a hand-drawn description of the factory coverage or source a pre-printed grid. Circling the three and the 36, we begin by explaining that the factory provides our guests with the first three years or 36,000 miles of full mechanical coverage. This covers over 5,000 items on the typical vehicle, almost everything save for the wearable maintenance items. We continue by circling the five and the 60 while explaining the factory also provides five years or 60,000 miles of powertrain coverage. This covers approximately 400 internally lubricated drivetrain items on the typical vehicle. There is unfortunately a gulf of difference between the powertrain and the full mechanical levels of protection. For example, and just to name a few of the major items under the hood that are provided no coverage under the powertrain warranty. Things like the AC, the alternator, the power steering, and the powertrain control module. Then there are all the parts and components inside the vehicle. Having thoroughly reviewed where the factory's level of risk tolerance is, and where it is cut off, we may ask our guests, why should your level of risk tolerance pick up where theirs has ended? Confidence is high, they probably have more money than the two of us combined. After all, no one wants to have a car payment and an uncovered repair payment both. Besides, everyone can probably agree that the likelihood of something going wrong in the first three years or 36,000 miles is usually far less than in the second three years and 36,000 miles. Naturally, we may conclude our point by noting that we have this opportunity to extend the full mechanical coverage beyond where the factory is willing to pay for the repairs. While doing so, we may wrap it up with a review. Now, not only will we be blanketed by the protection of the full mechanical coverage here, stated while shading that area, but extend it to encompass all of this additional area, stated while drawing an arrow to the upper right corner of the new total coverage area and shading correspondingly. Sound good? Of course, it is important to mention at this point that we have accurately zeroed in on their anticipated term and mileage needs. Once agreement to this sentiment is secured, we will identify which additional products in our previously recommended column are identified as must-haves also. We will then recreate our menu. We will leave 
the column that we had previously recommended in an undisturbed state. In the column immediately adjacent to it, we will leave only the VSC and whichever additional products have been identified as must-haves present. The other two columns will remain as they were previously as well. Chances are, if we are on message about the necessity of several of our products, they'll proceed to take advantage of our original recommendation due to the close proximity of both columns payments. By educating our guests, we will assure them that ensuring their investment against possible economic calamity ensures their interests are fully considered. Think about it. Good luck and good selling.